Well, joining me now, I've just been joined by two folks with big smiles on their faces, Trump campaign national spokeswoman Katrina Pearson, Republican campaign strategist Tony Sayek. He's also a Fox News contributor. And I, uh, I know for a fact that part of the reason for your, uh, your bright smile tonight, you're always smiling, <laughs> oh. uh, is, uh, is what's happening in these battleground states. These polls are showing a reversal of enthusiasm, a reversal of, uh, of uh, commitment to vote uh, and selection of candidates. Well, absolutely. You know, two weeks ago on the mainstream networks, they were talking about the polls and basically writing off the Trump campaign. And I had to remind them that Mr. Trump has been able to close bigger gaps than this in less than a week. Um, on top of the WikiLeaks information, on top of the Obamacare revelations, uh, people are naturally going back to what they've always done. They're looking at the economy and they're looking at health care. Which states are most impressive to you right now? I think right now the movement in Virginia, the movement in Colorado, the movement in Michigan, I think is all very promising. You think he's going to win in those states? I think he could. Um, you know, I've said from day one, even on this show, he's going to win in November, and I think he's going to win big. All right. Tony? I think he's locked in Ohio, Florida, Nevada, and it looks like even North Carolina right now. Those were the most important for him to do early as far as getting the, the momentum on his side. That's established, Lou. But to Katrina's point, where is Hillary Clinton going? Where are her surrogates going? They're going to Michigan. They're going to Wisconsin. They're going to Pennsylvania reliably democratic states for most of the last four decades. And it's because Donald Trump's populist message, particularly on economic issues, resonate with non-traditional Republican voting blocs yeah. in those states in particular. And I, and I certainly am no uh, clairvoyant, nor am I a seer, but it looks to me that people are just getting sick to death of the corruption that is being revealed, whether it be WikiLeaks, the Wall Street Journal, the FBI, whatever it may be. The, all we see is more corruption in the, within the Clinton cartel, which includes the foundation, which includes uh, her State Department dears, and her campaign now, uh, and, and the Obama administration's highly politicized Justice Department. This is now, it is now a responsible question, not just a fair question, to ask how high does it go in the Obama administration. Well, I think that's exactly why you see the president continuing to be out there publicly attaching himself to her, because I think they go down together. Um, what we find out today is, you know, we have a sitting United States president that is actively campaigning for someone who's under criminal investigation and his by vice the president FBI. as well. well and, and not even just the, the investigation. This is beyond emails now. We are now talking about public corruption within the Clinton Foundation. Mr. Trump called it in the primaries. He called her crooked Hillary because everything that's been going on with this foundation has been corrupt. Public corruption and mishandling of classified information. If she is found guilty, Lou, on even one of those charges, she by law is disqualified from holding public office. So while she rhetorically uses the term not qualified, she literally is the one who potentially by legal definition could be disqualified from being the president of the United States. It looks to me like there's a very high likelihood that she will be headed toward federal court to answer for herself and her actions. Uh, she, but the court of public opinion right now, I think, is making it very clear that they are tired of her corruption. They are tired of the excuses yeah. and the lies and that they are turning to the guy who's saying, drain the, drain the swamp. He doesn't add the word I would have. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a message he should stick to and is working extraordinarily effectively. Two things happened in the last week. One on a policy failure of Obamacare. The other on an honesty and trustworthy measure, a character measure. Hillary Clinton's FBI investigation being reopened. And the American people don't need us to tell them what to think about that. They know what's wrong with that. And as I've always said uh, about the uh, Trump candidacy, it's sure nice to hear a guy who's interested in the Oval Office saying we and us instead right. of I, me, First person singular all day long. America first. You got it. Thanks so much. Great to be here. Sounds Thanks. like a plan. America first. It's got a ring to it. Right, Tony? Absolutely, Lou. Katrina, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, sir.